Well, so much for not talking about loot boxes. <laughs> According to various news outlets, EA are being taken to court by the Belgium authorities for refusing to take loot boxes out of FIFA 18 and FIFA 19. This follows on the heels of other companies such as Valve, Blizzard Activision and even 2K yielding to the Belgium authorities and removing loot boxes from their games. EA, it seems, is made of sterner stuff though and they're up for a fight. So much for their claims to have learned after the Star Wars Battlefront debacle last year. Of course, there could be many reasons why EA are deciding to fight the Belgium authorities, but the obvious one is money. EA, more than any other company, have nailed their flag to the mast of loot boxes and the obscene wealth they can generate. So it's no surprise that they want to cling on to them like Gollum hanging on to the One Ring. But the Belgium authorities are up for a fight too, it seems and they're not backing down. Belgium Gaming Commission General Director Peter Niesens has stated that if the courts rule in favour of EA under the current laws, the Commission will, and I quote, advocate revising the gambling laws so that we can tackle the loot boxes. <laughs> Somebody give that man a cigar, he certainly deserves it. And the Commission is already looking to encourage the rest of Europe to adopt a similar approach, which in my view would be a huge step forward in getting these exploitative monetization methods banned for good. So we find ourselves in an interesting situation where we're just waiting for the Belgium courts to rule on this. But we can expect EA to contest this strongly and that's where it gets both interesting and worrying. In his article on this issue for Critical Hit, Jeffrey Tim says something that I found really pertinent, and it's this. In the end, if this does go to court, it'll all come down to semantics. You'll have both sides trying to nail down exactly what defines gambling. And, as I say, that's where it gets worrying, because you can bet a boatload of microtransactions that EA will turn up to court with more lawyers than Wilson Fisk and more money than a small nation. They'll try to obfuscate the issue because that's all they have to do. You know, we've seen this with the smoking industry and the way they just kept muddying the waters, confusing the issue. They didn't have to do anything. They just had to stop anybody else from doing anything. And we've seen this with the gaming industry and specifically with EA laying down the groundwork with their we don't believe loot boxes are gambling statements, such as the one Andrew Wilson gave during an investor call in May where he said, we don't believe that FIFA Ultimate Team or loot boxes are gambling, firstly because players always receive a specified number of items in each pack, and secondly we don't provide or authorise any way to cash out or sell items or virtual currency for real money. Well, what a crock of shit. Firstly, you can actually cash out these things. There are sites which allow you to do that. And secondly, we know this is rubbish anyway. The def definition of gambling is broader than that. And the Belgium authorities seem to agree. But that's not the only thing they're going to do. You know, EA may even concede some ground in order to try and head off the prosecutors by officially disclosing drop rates for Ultimate Team Packs, which they've agreed to do for FIFA 19. It's again the similar sort of thing that we saw from the cigarette industry. But it'll all be about one thing. Whatever they do, you can bet any money you like that this is all about stopping loot boxes from being removed from games altogether. They want them to remain and they will do whatever it takes to keep them there. And, and as a result, this could go on for years. Say, for instance, that the Belgium authorities win the court case and try to force EA to remove loot boxes. What will EA do? They're not just going to sit on their hands. Will they comply? Will they refuse and try to appeal? Even if they ultimately lose, what will be the sanction? Well, it will most likely be a fine. But given how much money EA make from the loot boxes in the first place, it's likely to be a drop in the ocean. 
And even if it's a significant fine, and even if EA are forced to remove loot boxes from FIFA altogether, it's still only a small hit to their bottom line because they can still sell their gambling machines dressed up as video games to the rest of the world. And if they win the case, and the Belgium authorities have to draw up new legislation, well, it could go on even longer. The fact is that the only way EA will reconsider their position on this is if the Belgium approach is adopted by more and more authorities across the world. And to that end, we as gamers, you know, the customers who put the money into EA's coffers, well, we have a huge part to play. After all, we're the ones who decide what games to purchase. And if we keep buying this crap, EA and others will keep selling it. If, on the other hand, we stop buying this crap, well, they can't sell something that people aren't buying, can they? But look, you know, you guys already know exactly what I think about this stuff. You know that I've made countless videos talking about EA and others and their loot boxes. But, you know, what do you think? Are you happy with these gambling mechanics ruining your games? Or would you rather we saw an end to such practices? And, you know, do you applaud the Gambling Commission in Belgium and Peter Neeson's? Or do you think they should keep their noses out and let the gaming industry do as it pleases? Because, you know, I know there are some people who have that idea that government should be completely hands off and let capitalism run its course. I, you know, I'm not one of those people. I think that capitalism's given us a lot of good things, but it does need to be regulated. And I think this is a perfect example of that. If we don't do something about this now, we're going to see problems down the line, both in terms of gambling addiction and in terms of our games disappearing under a weight of all these gambling mechanics. I look forward to 10 years and, I, and I'm thinking about what the games will look like then if we allow this to continue. And the sort of games that I enjoy simply won't exist anymore. Or if they do, they'll be tiny little games that don't make very much money and are only played by enthusiasts like me and others. The mainstream games will be chock full with these gambling mechanics and we won't be able to do anything about it because it will be too late. But as I say, that's what I think. You guys, as ever, may think I'm talking a load of old nonsense. And if you do, or if you agree with me, as I say, let me know in the comments and we'll have a chat about it. And I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye.